We are privileged to have our next speaker be the gentleman who started Ignite Lincoln. And Justin McDowell, um, he created this event out of a desire to bring, I love this, he says this all the time, to bring cool things to Lincoln. Um, when we were talking about this event, he said, he was talking with people from the East Coast, West Coast, and they just, they had this uncool factor or this, we're stuck back in our barns with our pitchforks and our, uh, our cows in the Midwest. And that, maybe some people are, but we're not. We're here and we have great ideas and good things to bring to Lincoln. So he brought this event here. Um, he hopes this will build on our community's foundation and um, the skills that, that we possess here. He, Daylight um, Hours works for the Arbor Day Foundation and in this grand scheme of things, hopes to save the world. So help me welcome Justin. Hello, my name is Justin McDowell, and I too like to travel. This is a trip that I took earlier this month. I went up to Seattle and Portland. And uh, one thing I have to say about hotels is that they're really well engineered. Uh, every time I go into one, the, the hotel room is perfectly, you know, it's the perfect temperature. I lay down on the bed, sink in. I don't have a TV, so I turn the TV on, and hey, Mythbusters Marathon is on, so I'll watch a couple, couple episodes of that a couple hours later. I'm ready to go find something to eat. So if you're looking for something to eat in a new city, you can risk, you know, maybe going to someplace bad, but you can always find, I'm going a little fast, apparently. You can, <laughs> I think it's stuck. There it is. Uh, you can always find that, that burger. You can always find that cup of coffee. Everywhere you go, you know, the same, the same shops are, are still there. And uh, when you're ready to go out and see the sights, there's all the monuments, and <laughs> I must have given myself 20 seconds. I'm cheating. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Anyway, you go out to see the monuments, and, and I'm, I'm all for seeing monuments. You saw me with the, with the Space Needle in Seattle there, but I wanted to do something a little bit different with my, with my trips. And so something like this, like jumping into a freezing cold river from a rope swing on a tree in uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, in my underwear. My mom is in the crowd. Hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I decided to take up couch surfing, and couch surfing is essentially what it sounds like. It's basically staying on somebody's couch. And if you're lucky, then they'll have a spare bed that you can stay on. And if you're not so lucky, you might be staying on a floor. But it's all up to you where you, where you want to stay. And uh, these were the first couch surfers that I ever hosted. And... Uh, <laughs> They, we found them in a Walmart parking lot begging for food, a ride, or a place to stay. And my friends ended up giving them, between us, ended up giving them all three. And when I told my coworkers about this, they thought I was crazy because look at these crazy people, they could have killed me. But they ended up being really amazing people and, and they had some great stories to tell. So people often ask me, you know, is it safe? Well, there are ways to go about it and the best way is couchsurfing.org. And this is a website where you can set up a profile and you can find places to surf couches or you can you know, host, host from here yourself. And they have a lot of security measures that you can check through. For instance, there are references that you can check. So if someone comes and stays with me, I can leave them a reference. You can get vouched for by the very best couch surfers, the very top couch surfers, and you can verify addresses so that you know who, who, you can say, who they say they are. So I always like to say that it's about as safe as you need it to be. Um, to give an example, I stayed with one woman who actually couch surfed with her daughter. Her, she had a teenage daughter and they, they went out and couch surfed. They hosted people at their house while they, couch, or while they, while they hosted couch surfers. Uh, so, so it's great. It's a great way for a child to see the world. This is the first trip that, one of the first trips that I went on down to Fort Worth, Texas. A friend and I were going to a comic book convention and we dressed up in costumes, of course, and it was a lot of fun. There we are with our couch surfing hosts as the Venture Brothers. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I actually ended up having more fun with the couch surfing hosts because they just had, had a great time showing us their city and, and treating us. And as an example, at the comic book convention, I got to meet Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca in the Star Wars movies, and he was kind of a jerk to me. And <laughs> on the right, you can see me teaching my couch surfing host how to dance like a Muppet inside a giant art sculpture. Now, which one sounds like more fun to you? Uh, so is couch surfing free? Well, 
basically, but I like to live by a couple rules. One is treat others to food and drink as you would want to be treated. And the other one is leave it better than you found it. And Couchsurfing hosts always love showing off their favorite restaurants and taking people out to, uh, to show off their town. And if they don't like going out, then it's always fun to, to stay with them and cook. And uh, it's always a good idea to offer to do dishes afterwards because they are letting you stay for free. <clears throat> so as far as hosting in Lincoln goes, I created this map on Google, Google Maps, and uh, I send it to my couch surfers. And, and this is a way that we can share Lincoln with the rest of the world or the United States. I actually hosted someone from, from England, so he got to see Lincoln from, from there. And if you have a particularly hard nut to crack, magic toast at the Highway Diner is wonderful. Everybody loves magic toast, and it's such a great feeling seeing someone figure out just exactly what it is. And as far as life-changing experiences go, this is Boise, Idaho. And here, my couchsurfing host introduced me to someone who happened to casually mention an event that they were trying to put on. It was called Ignite Boise. So there you have it. That was the beginning, the very beginning of Ignite Lincoln. Uh, started on a couchsurfing trip. If you want to know more, you can talk to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great time. So thank you very much.